eight they are not under investigation they are in the report from the integrity commission and the integrity commission is coming on the fire for not naming these parliamentarians however they made it clear that it is not their job to tell the people who these people are it is their job to file the report with the speaker of the house and for the whether the speaker of the house the prime minister the opposition whoever in government to give this information to the public the public needs to know who these eight parliamentarians are whether or not the investigation brings anything to light is not the issue the fact is they have been cited by the integrity commission not by someone making a phone call not by someone saying oh this mp get the money and never give the people none of that it's the integrity commission's findings these eight people have put themselves in a position for the integrity commission to put them on a list and call it illicit enrichment list what illicit enrichment mean people what why the name one would i get why street name one would i get to illicit enrichment and we know it is happening we know it is happening that monies that come into the hands of politicians do not stay in the budget it goes into their pockets it sends their children to the best private schools it builds their houses and it funds their business and their investments illicit enrichment check that out guys what is the meaning of this and for the integrity commission to find that these eight people should either be investigated or turned up in this report the fact that they turned up in the report so no right why can't they be named these people all cover for each other in their foolishness it is time that some of these people go to prison most of them coming like the artists politicians and artists are two set of people when me are tell us saying no man so no 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 see them are the next one them the politician them next to the artist where start out from zero and go into politics and make a bag of money and then go on like they want to look down upon the people like the people them lower than them no one know which one of them unless them a second generation politician none of them not start off rich neither the only politician them when might have a thing and because listen politics is becoming hereditary in jamaica you have father son nephew uncle daughter father i saw politics around now because them put them picnic them and them people them in place to come earn to come get rich I saw politician do it at Jamaica. So if you're a second generation, um, let's say, um, who, who, what their name? I don't know them anyway. I don't know them. I don't know all the politicians them we have pitney in a politics now, nephew in a politics, godson in a politics, them woman pitney in a politics. All of them bringing each other to rob the country. I that them I do. That are illicit enrichment, robbing, thieving, scamming. And them are get where we did. Them are get where we did. How you think they come by them millions? How them pay and reflect what them, them assets? Why the Prime Minister cannot announce his 2021 um, statutory deduction or statutory um, claim? Why? 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 Me curious. From 2021? When I realize that we're going through half of 2024? And the Prime Minister just ignore that like and nothing. This has to do with money and accountability. And the man no one disclose him assets and all that he's supposed to. So the people can know that we are dealing with an honest leader. How can this be allowed to happen? Why is the justice system not, not involved in this? Why are they not um activate something which makes the prime minister give the information to the um what you call it the um not the accountant you all know who i'm talking why 
why why why why two things why one why we cannot know the names of these eight parliamentarians eight of them then imagine if eight of them are from the same side eh how much left how much power one side 13 or 14 can you imagine if you eight of them are from one side and even if some are from one side and some are from the other it's the same you depend on list for illicit enrichment and you're a politician supposed to be taking care of the country and the people. Jamaica full of scamming from top to bottom. And then you don't want to tell you them not for scam. You don't want to tell you them not for this and not for that. But them not set no example. Them the part thief in list. The illicit enrichment list is a thief in list. And we want what we depend on. Taganjo. Mr. Wellness. Good night, sir. You say I look cute. I'm come for you nice tonight. The Jamaican people would like to know, sir, who the eight politicians are on the illicit enrichment list. Do you know if you are on it, sir? The people have that question too. Enough people are saying reason why Angela announced Elisa because he's the pony. Enough people are saying ah, because of him heady. Enough people are saying because he protect himself and him assets and him people them with the pony. Them have a code of secrecy. All of them follow it with one another. Them now nah, bust for one another. Oh no, no, see how long they turn in there. Remember, say, other day, Warmington don't tell we are in. You know, Warmington have their secret, you know. No, see how Warmington get quiet. They have to quiet Warmington. Because I'm all scammer too. You understand? Why? And you honest, what make we cannot know the eight name of the politician them? Don't you want to weed them out and show the people that your government is not corrupt? I thought that the Prime Minister said that he would fight corruption with all his might. He might have never used those words, but we would hope that the Prime Minister would want to fight corruption with all his might. Eh? Why we cannot hear? We were waiting to hear the six, the illicit six. Now it's eight. Two gone and Pani. Now there's also a misunderstanding and they're not correcting it. So the other day, Andrew was talking about misinformation and this and that. There is misinformation with this illicit eight thing. There is. Somebody said, Oh, Warmington Tons Kemma. You want me to tell you? Warmington tell with on video. Said so the money of a labor right where him ever spend. If that is not scamming, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. So you see, uno labor right, uno don't come on my page, and uno PMP, uno don't come on my page, because I don't like no, no, no. You see, if that uno come over your phone, go move up and go. Why I'm a scammer, that me say. Because if you get money for spending your constituency, and you're bright enough for chat pan video, so you know, you know, mon no, your money to no socialist or whatever I did say. He's a scammer. He's a scammer right there. And enough might never come say things for video, but we know the things them. So me know nobody can ask me what me know. Me know what me know. Me know enough things when me not talk. Enough things me know when me not talking. And some might me not even know. Me just me intuition, me common sense, me everything about me. Tell me. Say I say go. Yeah, so you see, you, know, you see, if one no one say on a dieted orange or green, this is not the page for you no. Know. Yeah, good night. Have a wonderful rest of the night. Yeah. All right. As I was saying, the prime minister sees that this is a burning issue, that the people want to know who the illicit eight are. We don't care which side they're on. We would like to know why it is them end up on a list where the Integrity Commission prepare after doing their work and getting their report ready. You understand? Why we can't know? And why we can't submit him statutory declaration from 2021? We soon reach a 2025. So we now go hear it then all when him get a next term or maybe him get come out of office we now go know him just go quietly go away with him riches none of them not start off rich not one of them not one of them 
As me said, the only politician we can claim say them probably growing a little wealth, and it would be by association, would be second generation politicians who are in there now, because we see that happening. We see that the uncles and the nephews and the fathers and the sons and the daughters and the fathers and the mothers and the, the sisters and the, we, we see what's going on with politics in Jamaica. It has passed down. So their name can live on because Jamaica is for them. And while their name live on, them not even come out. Them just want to stay there till they're in a wheelchair or in a them bed. That's how these people are. You can literally see the deterioration on some of these politicians. And they refuse to retire. They have no retirement age. But the citizens must have retirement age. And go and go take a little bit of pension. Meanwhile, them go home with them lifetime payment for the people. Them. If them something and not bother people of Jamaica and all who can care about is on a party, me feel sorry for you. You know, not a real Jamaican. No, no, town up on the uh, one side or the other. We have on a party in front of the truth, have on a party in front of reality, have on a party in front of history. We sure you know. I don't know, no, already say history repeat itself, but yet you know, I come from people here to ask foolishness. But don't want that. I couldn't up tonight because you see, I'm nice tonight. I may have fun, I blow me, me fat, and because some people are not light, so they're not a breeze. And they're afraid to open them door because I'm going to kill them. So I don't want to no come here tonight with no foolishness. When I no discover that page, I don't find out, I don't find a cup of tea, I don't try to go along somewhere else, go look on the mouth. I will. Yes, people. So, the Integrity Commission, like I said, is coming under fire. And they are saying to the people, hold on. I know we are not because we are not the one. We don't have legal jurisdiction to come announce nobody name. We don't have the power to send nobody to prison. We don't have the power to put up no investigation about nobody. What we have the power to do is present the report... And then when we present the report now, the politicians and the system which is in place to give this information to the public is there. I see a lot of misunderstanding. Now I watch some bloggers post about this or talk about this and it's misunderstood. It is not two politicians now. The list has not dropped from six to two. It is increased to eight. The misunderstanding is that two of them are officially under investigation the other six have found to be suspects of illicit enrichment and the integrity commission put their names in a report from how long now we are waiting for here who is this illicit six and andrew can't tell we all know we are we are too long for andrew tell we things were important because if you claim say you want to have a clean government where uplift the country, prosperity and all these things, you need to root out those six politicians, whether they are on your side or the opposition. Get rid of them. Find it. Find the corruption. Root it out. Get it out. And then the people will now have more faith and trust in you. This is what I was saying on the radio this week. That if I was Andrew, I would release these names. And encourage the investigation so that we would know what would come of it. So they might investigate and nothing comes of it and those people name are cleared. Or they might investigate and something come of it and they go to a prison. What is illicit enrichment more than stealing, scamming, robbing, thieving? That is what it is. And it means that the person is gaining off the people. You're getting rich, enrichment, enrichment. And most of them never have nothing for money, and them never born rich. All of a sudden, three or four year in there, them are the richest thing. Them have the most business, the most investment. Them set up themselves, even in the ministries that they work, they are aligned with businesses which make money in a nefarious way. For example, I am the Minister of Health. All of a sudden, me own pharmacy. All of a sudden, me own dead house. All of a sudden, a, a fimi family, them at yeah, for contract, for, for move dead body. Too many things going on in the country which point to corruption. 
They are literally making money from the dead. They're making money from the poor, from the sick, from the desolate. Wasting money on somebody say empty buildings. If somebody puts a money I spend per, per empty building. And, and, and the people must just sit and quiet. The people of Jamaica are so dumbed down. Is a serious thing. I want the people to go and look at the videos of what happened in Kenya the other day. And take a page out of the Kenyans books who walked up to parliament without any arms. None of them had guns because the citizens in Kenya cannot have guns. None of them were armed or dangerous. They went there with only their soul, them blood, and them love for them country. And many of them died because the president had the soldiers shoot the citizens. When the citizens went out to protest for their own right and to resist IMF and to resist a, a finance package which would cause them to suffer more. And Kenya people don't already suffer. Kenya people don't already suffer. The people are so docile and accept their own suffering that they cannot rise up together in any significant way. And the government knows this. They bank on the people's dunceness. They bank on the people's ignorance. They bank on the people's desperation. They bank on the people's hunger. They bank on the people's illiteracy. And they thrive of taxpayers money illicit enrichment is teething that's what it is and if you have eight politicians on any side who's involved in this kind of thing clear their name get them off the list or send them to prison it can't just linger there and we can't hear a who why why andrew can't tell we who them people are be why this year report now reading a parliament for when a big argument over it other day with Juliet? She not she not read nothing. She not read nothing. Because name the penny where they don't want to call goodly for them one. And I thought the people them are suspect. Now why should we have leaders who we suspect of these things? That's not right. We should have leaders who we trust. Leaders who we have faith in. That's why I said at work this week, Andrew, if you worry any people them trust, take my foolish advice. The best thing you do is announce that illicit eight there. Even the six were in the report where we are waiting all long. We need to know them. And the two were under investigation. Now we want to know them too. Two things and you find hard for up knee mouth and tell we. In the mind up knee mouth when he already get back and up knee mouth power we. But he now up knee mouth and tell we the illicit aid. Him now up knee mouth and talk about his statutory declaration which the people are waiting to hear how come the prime minister gets so rich so quick. We want to know if they, whether illegal or illegal, we want to know. We want to know if in the panito. So you see, all who over here say attack, all on the labor right people, on the lucky. I tell you, I already said, if you come from my page and you don't find it, um, to your suiting, there's so many other pages. There's so many labor right supporters online. You can, you can go and watch those. You know? Yes, you can do that. Right. And anybody who comes on my page with politics, you will be blocked. And if I feel like answering, I will answer. Yeah. Not enough people are talking. And then when we speak, you have these dunce idiots who are so connected to a party. They're not even connected to their soul. Because if you're connected to your soul and you have good within you, you would see what I am saying. The people are in poverty. The people are suffering. And there's so much corruption going on. There's so many things that the people overlook. The news mill is so quick and fast that you cannot even process some of the trauma that is happening in the society. But we know that persons like myself would stand out in the way that I speak and the things that I say. 
so for them to come at me about politics is expected it's just that sometimes i just feel like facing and cuss them out to call them to fool and in a sense so yeah it two most difficult thing me find where prime minister now talk about is the statutory deduction from 2021 and then now they elicit eight because it's gone up from six to eight so for the people who were thinking that it's just two now no and i saw and i saw a report said that's not what the report says i'll read the report for you before i go guys the integrity commission has indicated i read that part already all right this matter has sparked heated public discourse and repeated calls for the six to be named now eight to be named in its annual report for the fiscal year 2023 to 2024 which was tabled in Parliament yesterday, so this was Tuesday gone, the Integrity Commission reported that two parliamentarians and four public officials are under investigation for illicit enrichment. So they're actually under investigation. I was thinking they were on the list, but this was from before, I guess. That was announced from before, the six of them, the panelists, right? And then two more added. So, I mean, how can we ignore this? How can we ignore but the people are going at um, the Integrity Commission online trying to say all type of thing about them. They do not have legal jurisdiction to announce who these people are. Their only job is to provide the information and then it must be passed on to the public. And the government is not doing that. Andrew is shying away from it and it makes him look bad like he's on the list. And his colleagues are on the list, obviously, if you say, if it says two parliamentarians and four public officials, it, they must be on one side or the other. So why wouldn't he have this report for the people after the people have asked so long? Alright, so the commission said that it is required by law to outline in its annual report a description of the matters referred and matters being investigation. It says it has no control over complaints and allegations and investigations. And they make note of the facts of the receipts and the investigation in their annual report. Right? So they, they not just come up with this and then I just put a man name on this. They have a reason for do it. You understand? So if the eight of them up on one side, too bad for that the side. If the eight of them split between the two sides, give them up to we make we hear who them be. Cause they ain't two teeth. Tired of them now. Yeah. So that is it, people. My Amber Joy's news and reviews for this week. Alright, so if you missed the beginning, you can catch it back. I'll post on Instagram, YouTube. It will be up on YouTube. And I need to start going back into my TikTok and just posting them up on the page. So I will do that hopefully with the assistance of my... Um, what's your name again, Malia? What's your job? My daughter is my um, technician and my engineer. Malia? Malia? What's the, what's the name? She's my engineer, okay? She's my engineer and my technician. Yeah, my engineer, okay? Well, on behalf of my engineer, that's the program for tonight, guys. I do not know when I will appear again. I'm hoping to do the live news and reviews weekly, but sometimes my days get, I'm traveling all over the place and this, that, and the other. So, you know, me just do it when me see well. Because this week, me really couldn't pass this topic especially. Cause me confused as to why Andrew feels that this is a secret. Ah, uh, oof, a secret he might keep. Fame one, or him friend them one. We need for no one. Because how oh, else we're going to get corruption out if we not address these things? You know what I mean? Alright, again, for the people who experience damage from Hurricane Beryl, my heart goes out to you. I appeal to those who can help. The rich people in Jamaica, when I have no wants and no needs, when I have everything what I want, when I work for it, I'm a happy phone, when I rich, nice, wonderful. Make no riches make sense, can I care how much millions I have, no can't care, we don't know. Mr. Butch Stewart, that and his family, they fight over and riches right now. Rich Butch Stewart, who was one of the most richest man and philanthropist and entrepreneur and everything, fame family, they fight over and riches now. So what is riches? What do you want to have it for? Help the people them. Artists them. You need to come help the people them. And the people them make on a rich too. 
I talk to already and I don't stop talking. Shensi are not rich like some of them. Ramesh and Shensi are alone. Really? Ramesh and Shensi are alone. And they not even spend some of them money um, really because other people give them things. So them just try them put some stuff together, put for them thing, call in some people, some people link them to God and see what they do and help. Helping hands. Everyone help each other once so they can do it. Somebody say, I hope my family in Treasure Beach get help. Oh God, may I tell you. It's a rough time for the people. So in this time, guys, let's pray for each other. Let's pray that the hearts and the minds of these people who can afford to at no loss to them. Some of them at no cost. Some of them are just on links they need for me. Some of them have a name. Them have influence and whatever. Use that up to assist the people. I was watching a drone video today and my heart was shook. So many hosts stop gone down a St. Elizabeth. I don't start talking about St. Thomas people here because you know what I mean? What is? It's like St. Thomas are really the forgotten parish. You talk about one sitting at St. Thomas now. Meanwhile, 50 odd things are happening there. And then nobody remember about the people them. How that work? The people them need help in, in so many ways. And I find it very, very disturbing that people who make money from people don't see it fit. To spend back some of the money upon the people them right? The people them will stream your music, the people them will buy your album, come at your concert, buy your merchandise. Them swear to so them are our friends. Some people actually think them and the artists, them are friend, them love them so much. Them adore them, them into them music, them support them for years. Years me I talk about. Real fans. And I shouldn't see alone on the run out with really. My god man. Do better. Only need for do better. Do better, man. Where the business people them they will make money off of people every day. It come like when people get rich, they also get selfish. On a store up all these riches and on an anga heaven. I found an anga no heaven. Much less we got care no riches we don't in a heaven. It's so sad to see we have a country which is so popular with culture and music and arts and all these things and these things that make money and these people are not stepping up to help the people. And I don't want to hear about how they always help their family. Them help them father and their mother. Them duty that fit help them father and their mother. And them duty that fit help them family out of poverty and give them opportunities. That are them duty. If you is an artist or an influential person or a rich person by whatever means, your business or whatever, and you make enough money to elevate others and you don't do it, it's only about you and your riches that you're storing up. You're not nobody. If that is the way it is, you is nobody to me. P is people put on one a day. If you have a store, if you have a store and no one comes in, who's going to buy? Who are going to buy? If you sell hardware stuff, if you sell household stuff, you sell food. The food company them are the most embarrassing in this whole situation. Because they have not stepped up to help feed the people. They should have food stands all over the place. Drop off centers where they take food in the communities and people can go there to collect in a structured way. But them not do it. Them, not, them just want to earn from you. Them just want to say the stamp pass. And then they can come and shop again. And then them raise the price per week. In a time of need. These are the things. When me talk about. So this now have nothing to do with politics. As a matter of fact, I hate the people that we come talk about politics every day. I you know if it's stupid to think when me talk it have nothing to do with politics. I hate to know. You know stupid and fool. I said that without apology. As me say, me never vote, but me have the right to vote from me at 18 and me never vote so I wish me could have piled them up right now. Could have piled them. I not go tell them my age, but me have a few. I would have a few. <laughs> they would be in the double digits. <laughs> if votes could pile up, I'd be voting in the double digits right now. Yeah. It's crazy, these so-called Jamaican celebrities, they just all quiet since the storm. Where y'all at? 
Usually on the part Instagram I show off when the riches and I show off when you got and this that and we got, we happy for no worry nobody no grudge you know. But a we same one make no have the things them so we make no stay so. Jeez um. Me still a wait. Me a wait for see some prominent person join up with the next prominent one and the next one and them do some group initiative. Me still a wait for see some them do some standalone activities in a some community. Me still a wait. Come in, I think it's too late. A one week now, we hurricane gone. Now, last week, them time, yeah. Jesus. Um, and before me go, people, remember now, please be patient with JPS. Their job has a lot to do with safety. And I realize that the impatience is boiling on people who don't have the light back. But by today, more people do have light back. And we really hope and pray that the majority of people will have their light back or most or all people will have their light back as well um hopefully by this weekend um i did also say at the start of the video my heart and prayers go out to phantom moja i heard earlier that he got a heart attack i made a phone call i found out that he's in a good way right now and he's recovering and it's not as severe as people thought before so that is good news Big up to Fantan Moja. I sure hope that he will have a speedy and full recovery. People, take care of yourself. Look after yourself. Look after each other. Live in love. And just, you know, do the right things. All right? I'll catch you guys soon. Um, I might be on again over the weekend. I'll be with my family. And I like to record some of these moments because I don't get to see my family a lot. They're in West Milan and I'm all the way over in St. Anne and Kingston. So, Yeah. Um, it's a sad occasion that I'm going to see my family for my aunt Olive. You, you, you guys remember I came and did a live video talking about my aunt. She needed blood. Um, she was at the university hospital some months ago. She passed. Yeah. So she did have her surgery and we thought it was successful, but then she passed. So condolences to my entire family and her family. So Crowell and Johnson families between Negril and Orange Hill um so yeah this weekend we lay my aunt to rest and i'm gonna go to a day wake for the first time because no light not down there so in the day we are keep the wake nikisha me already here say invited me never know some people get invited a week how what is my sister tell me say she invited you and when we're done we are got square one got show down <laughs> so because the square one bus happen him have generator and over the way i go yeah so we have a day wake for my auntie friday in an orange square and then now saturday is the funeral morning funeral so you know we escape having needing the light um in the day with the wake you know um we don't know oh we are gonna get the music up and i forgot to turn up his sound load over the nikisha make you reach out the road what do you think can't turn when i speak out they're not you and play gospel for me auntie because i gospel she loved she was such a darling all right thank you all so much guys for watching the live and yeah i mean no i get a lot of requests to come more often but life you know i mean just have to do things according i like to move according to how um life takes me i'm not one of those people with labels and timelines and no me is more like a free spirit a butterfly just floating around floating around in life so give thanks to everybody and thank you all too for all the Oh my God, guys, let me tell you something. I know some of you are going like, I do my work for a while now, and I know my work and thing. And I know I have my presence and all of that. But you see, from what day, I want to really pour it out for me. I'm mean, not telling you no like, it help me. It helped me forget through a difficult situation when I even got through right now, created by people, not by me. So just give thanks, my people. Give thanks for the love. And the strength every time. All right, TikTok me I go left on the first. Big up on the self. All right, so me go come back and post up my TikTok live and leave it there. All right, blessings to you all. Uh, I would think I will close out from YouTube last. Um, and for my for the people on YouTube who will see this video, the the recording content like my um, what's your what's your title again, Mali? I keep forgetting. <laughs> she said me no know. Okay. Come on now tell me what your name. Technician and engineer together gives her. Engineer. Engineer. So Malia is my engineer. 
And my editor, some of you wait for her because sometimes she's not in the mood and she can't bother with me. Some of you wait, wait, wait. And <laughs> Plus, I'm also waiting for some equipment, guys. I want to set up my thing nice with my lights and this and that. And, you know, um, and then I have so many other things. I'm also preoccupied with the artist who I manage, Big Up Tijan. Um, he and I and I, Wayne and Richie Spice, we're going to England. We're going to be in Birmingham on the 10th. Michelle, tell TikTok this, you know, but we can't tell them one next time. We're going to be in England on the 10th of August. So, um, yeah, for the people that move over reggae, come out. We're going to be at the Forum, Richie Spice performing, um, I Win performing, and Tijon and Keja Lamar, the only female artist on the show. She's from the UK, and I'll be the host for all of them. And I'm going to be playing for Tijon as well. I'll be playing his tracks. All right, so guys. Bless up on yourself. I remember lock out. I remember come off of YouTube first. All right. So this has been Amber Joy's News and Reviews. Your real news from a real person. Una petito. Astushito. Yeah. Sometimes she come in her bikini. Sometimes she in her suit. But she never ever wear stocking. I don't like stocking. <laughs> Big up on yourself, people. Good night. Alright, so that's going up on the YouTube now. Um, and thank you to my engineer, Sean Malia, for all her assistance. Because she did fix my YouTube earlier. Something was wrong with it, and she, she never stopped until she fixed it. Look here, Nikisha, I'm going to send her an engineer school because this is real. Even if she has to go up on Google, she has to look past some of my things. True to my analog brain. <laughs> better she do it. <laughs> so, big up yourself, my engineer. Thanks again. Now I'm my entire dummy by now. All right, Instagram. So you're the last for me to log off from tonight. And thanks, I've gotten a lot of support too. I must say, out of all of the platform, them Instagram only really did it for me. So thank you guys so much all the time. All right, enjoy the rest of the night. And maybe sooner next time. And please remember, reach out now, whatever you can do. If you help the people, then we'll do that. Seeing blessings and love. Good night.